Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got some fun for you today, because we got some parts. No, not Mustang parts, unfortunately. But I did get my axles back. They have lockers front and rear. I got new axle, new axle shafts. The only thing we're really reusing is, say, the, the tubes. <laughs> the pump, the outer pumpkin part, you know, basically the carrier. Everything inside is new. All the bearings are new, everything. Same with the transfer case. Fully rebuilt, 100%. All new stuff in there. I don't necessarily think people need to do that. I only did it because I wanted everything in this truck to be new when, I was, when I'm done with it. So we got all our stuff back. The transfer case. Still wrapped up. I'm not gonna throw that up under there. The front axle back, and got the rear axle back. But before I throw this rear axle on, I'm gonna do an upgrade to this axle, to the braking system, that pretty much I think everybody should do. We're gonna throw disc brakes on the back of this thing. And I actually went with a less expensive, kind of an entry level kit, just because I didn't want the rear brakes to outperform the front brakes. So on the front, you have these rotors that are part of the hub. And there's really not too many upgrades you can do to these things. Um, I, I've been looking around for stuff and I really haven't seen anything that uh, I can do, unless I'm gonna swap out this axle for a different unit. Going with a 500 horsepower LS and we're on 35s. I wanna be able to slow down a little better. I mean, it's great to go fast, but it's worthless if you can't stop. Don't want to crash. So we're going to throw some brakes on this and I'm going to show you how much fun it is. One thing that's great about this is that I don't have to take these axles out. And because I have a locker in here now, um, I don't want to even take this apart. So we went to Summit Racing, got ourselves a classic performance products rear brake kit. Comes with brake lines, comes with this. Actually, I'll show you the lines. The lines are, here's the brake lines in this nice box. So I'm actually not even gonna put these on yet. So we're gonna go put this on the shelf. There, you can stay there. Before we get this axle thrown up in the truck, I want to put the disc brake kit on. Now, there's a couple issues with these particular studs. They didn't listen to me at the shop that I got my axles built at, unfortunately. Hey dog, you want me to throw that ball? Okay. So they didn't, they didn't, either they didn't listen or they didn't write it down, but I wanted my axles so I didn't leave it there. I figured I could do this myself. And I've already done that side over on that, over there. So we gotta knock these out and we're gonna replace them with some ARP half inch studs. Cause these 7 16ths, while well, they're fine, I really want the added strength of the larger bolt. And I'll, let me show you what I got. Go get it, dog. So I got these ARP half inch by, how long are these? These are pretty darn long. These are for Corvettes, actually. Corvette CS, or C5. So this is what we're taking out. And that's what we're putting in. Significant difference. I don't know if you remember why we did that because I'm running 35 inch tires on weld wheels, weld Aragon wheels. And the flange on the, or the plate, or I don't know what the heck you want to call it, on the weld wheel is very, very thick. On the front axles, we've already put longer studs in. 
that are half inch. We did that in a video a long time ago. But I want to get these done on this axle here, so I'm going to finish them up. Let me show you this other side. Much nicer. Much nicer. So you don't have to drill out the holes in the rotor because they're already big enough. But I'm going to knock one of these out, and I'm going to show you the issue here. All right. So this hole here is not large enough to accept that giant stud from ARP. The hole's just not, it's not even big enough for the threads to go through. So I don't want to take these axles out and put them on the press and try to drill that out. It's, it's a real hassle, it's a nightmare. So what I got is I got some carbide burrs from Harbor Freight actually, and they work really, really well. This is what I got. Focus, focus. Go right there. These things are working great. Took me maybe an hour to do that other side. If you wanna go slower, I recommend putting it in a heavy duty drill. I've done that too. It will make lots of shavings on the ground. Wear your safety glasses. If you don't remember why I say that, Go back a few videos where I got a piece of metal in my eye and had to have it surgically cut out of my eye. And now I have scar tissue over this eye, so I can't... Everything I can see pretty clear, but it's slightly foggy and slightly blurry. Doesn't matter, I can see. I'm happy. Anyway, let's get the rest of these out of here. You really only want to take a little bit off at a time here. As soon as, as soon as it's able to go through with the threads, I stop. Not a chance there. It's really not a chance there. So I'm almost done with these. All of those five are done. This one I just started on, but I wanted to Show how I'm doing this. There's a little bevel right here. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus. Anyway, there's a little tiny bevel. I'm just removing all the material up to that bevel. That way, so like in here, this won't fit. Okay? But over here, no problem. And it'll go right up to the shank where the where the where the knurled part of the shank is. See, all of them are good to go. Except this one. Still working on that one. There you go. All done. They're not done. You gotta get them pressed in all the way. It's a really easy way to do this. Sweet! For the first time in months, that truck is sitting on its axles. Ah, they're not bolted in, but it's sitting on them. <laughs> Let me get them bolted in. I'll throw on the rest of that disc brake kit and 
maybe even throw it on the tires. I, I, what, do you, what do you think about that? All right, let's get busy. Annie lost her ball at the house. I don't know how, but she can't find it. So we got brakes. I'm gonna take this light. Ugh. Got disc brakes on the back on this side. Got disc brakes on the back on this side. Pretty cool, man. Got a blazer with four wheel disc brakes. Okay, so the that was not exactly easy. It was real easy on this side. The passenger side was less than easy. It was a giant pain in the butt, actually. Um, I'm not gonna put the lines on because I still have to detail the axles up a little bit and the springs make them look a little nicer. We're supposed to get the door and the other rocker panel on Tuesday of next week. So I'll be throwing those in right away. But in the meantime, I'll get the, the truck on some tires Probably not going to put on the good tires. I'll probably put on the small 31s just so I can roll it around the shop. So I'm pretty stoked. It looks good. I like having four-wheel disc brakes, even though I'm not actually using brakes right now. Well, let's check it out. Sweet. No oil. Four ten locker. This breaks. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna cover it back up until I can put the rear diff cover on and fill it with oil. Had the front rotors turned. I have the same locker in the front here as the back. So it's a four ten. And it's a power track script pro. And the ARP studs. both sides nice all right guys so that's gonna do it for today's video please hit that like and subscribe down below and i'll catch you in the next one peace handy dog where's your ball she lost it it's not here she's been roaming around all day all right guys we'll see you